Hi my friends. I would like to share with you about this experiment one entitled Rate of Reaction. The learning outcome for this experiment is at the end of this lesson, students should be able to study the effect of concentration, temperature, and catalyst on the reaction rate. Let's continue to the theoretical background. Reaction rate is change in concentration of reactants or products per unit time. Usually, the unit is molar per second. Hey Jenny, what is the factors that influence the rate of reaction? Factors that influence the rate of reaction are temperature, pressure, catalyst, size of particles, and concentration of reactants. Rate of reaction can be studied by observing the change in the chemical properties or physical properties of species involved in the reaction. Jenny, what is the relationship between rate and time of the reaction? Oh Sally, the reaction rate is inversely proportional to the time of the reaction. Faster the reaction occurs, the shorter is the time for the reaction to complete. Here is few apparatus used in this experiment. Before start the experiment, don't forget to prepare all this chemical reagents too. Now you are ready to start the experiment. Best of luck. Thank you for your explanation. Let's go start the experiment. Hello everyone. Let's start with part A. You need to fill a burette up until the zero mark with 0 0.2 molar sodium thiosulfate. The reading must be exactly at zero. Then place a clean 100 ml conical flask under the burette. Dispense exactly 50 ml of the sodium thiosulfate into the flask. Place the conical flask onto an egg spark on top of a magnetic stirrer. Place a magnet inside the solution and set the speed of the stirrer to 5. Pipette 10 ml of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid into the conical flask. and immediately start the stopwatch. Observe the egg spark from the top of the conical flask. Allow the mixture to stir continuously. And when you see that the X mark is no longer visible, you can stop the stopwatch. Record the time. And now you can tabulate the data and repeat the steps using different concentrations.
And now part B, the effect of temperature and catalyst on the reaction rate. Label four boiling tubes as A1, A2, B1 and B2. Place 10 ml of 0.25 molar oxalic acid solution into tubes A1 and A2. Fill tubes B1 and B2 with 5 ml of 0.02 molar potassium manganate solution. And 10 ml of 2 molar sulfuric acid. Next, add 5 drops of 10% of MnSO4 solution to B2. Stir the mixture. And place all tubes A1, B1, A2 and B2 inside a water bath. Before proceeding with the next step, check that the temperatures of the solutions have achieved 30 degrees Celsius. For the solution in B1 into tube A1 and start the stopwatch immediately. Record the time taken for the solution to become colorless. Repeat the same steps for tubes A2 and B2. Again, repeat all the same steps for different temperatures as shown in table of part B. Record your readings and now you are ready to analyze your data.